Looney Tunes presents... <laughs> the Real Great Adventures of Me, Tom Terrific. With Mighty Man Fred, the Wonder Dog. I'm Tom Terrific, great adventure lover. With Mighty Man Fred at my side, villains run for cover. I can be anything you see, change my shape most readily. How I do it puzzles me. If you see a rocket blast, a sailing ship goes sailing past. A little flea, a golden key. It's me! All kinds of fun things. I'm never just one thing. T E R R F I C. My name's Tom Terrific. Uh, 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 and I'm Mighty Man Fred, the Wonder Dog, uh, and Tom's ever faithful companion. Chapter One of Moon Over Manfred. And it says in this book that the moon is 240,000 miles away from the Earth. Oh, it doesn't look that far. Bronx, New York. It also says here that the moon controls the ocean's tides. Isn't that an interesting fact, Manfred? I wish it wouldn't shine in my eyes. Thank you. That's better. Manfred, look. The moon has been turned off. How convenient. I was just about to retire. My opium, Manfred. Something bad must have happened to the moon. This calls for urgent measures. I am going to have to think. Terrific! I'll turn into a telescope. And you, oh steady-eyed fighter, can look through me and see what's wrong with the moon. At last, I found my role in life, science. <laughs> Why, hello there. How fascinating. Manfred, the moon is even too dark to see through a telescope. What to do? What to do? This is the most worst thing that could happen. We've got to get to the moon to turn it back on. Because if we don't, what'll happen to the ocean tides? Or the moonlight cruises. And without a moon, how will little boys and girls know what to wish on? Or what time to go to bed? Uh, go to bed? <laughs> An excellent suggestion. <clears throat> There's but one thing to do, mighty man Fred. You and I must go to the moon and find out why it went out. I will turn into a rocket and blast off to the moon. Are you ready, noble space explorer? Uh, why don't we just talk this over, Tom? Don't be too anxious, Manfred. Wait for me. We're off to the moon. Our most greatest adventure is about to begin. Not another one. have to go so fast? Oh! Terrific! We must be on the moon at last, Manfred. Oh! Manfred, where are you? Oh! Hold on, old fighter. Uh, some horrible old moon creature has got me in its clutches. But Manfred, that's only a baby carriage. But if there are baby carriages on the moon, that means there must be some children on the moon. Uh, good thinking. Let's explore. Zoom, golly, man, Fred. It's a moon man. Uh, greetings, Mr. Moon Man. Me from great planet across universe. Me, you friend. Me, you buddy buddy. Foof, man, Fred. The moon man doesn't seem to know what I'm saying. Uh, even I'm having trouble. Me hungry. Me look for food. Oh! Tom, I'm caught on a rocket. Hold on, Manfred. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Moon Man. Nice talking to you. Here I am at your side, mighty Manfred. Zook, we weren't on the moon at all. We were in an apartment house basement. 
And you knew it all along. Oh, brainy wonder dog. You led me to the elevator so I'd find out my silly mistake. But now, how are we ever going to reach the moon? Uh, let's go home and give up and listen to the radio. Radio? Terrific! I'll change into a radio wave and beam us at the moon. And this time, I'm positive we'll make it. Uh, how high the moon, Tom? <laughs> Obviously, there is no room for me. Uh, well, so long. Drop me a line when you get... Oh! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. We're here at last, almighty oh man, Fred. We've reached the moon. Now all we have to do is find out why the moon turned its light off. Tom, I can't stop bouncing. Oh, Hocus, New Jersey. That's right. The moon's gravity is much less than the Earth's. That means we can practically float on the moon, Manfred. Well, what do you know? Floating Manfred, the wonder dog. Oh, lay. I'm mighty Manfred, ooh, the wonder dog. Noble strength, able brain, that's me. Fast and fleet of feet, danger is my meat. I'm fearless, brave as any hound can be. I'm mighty Manfred, ooh, the wonder dog. Pride and true, handsome too, this I know. There's just no dog like me. It's true because you see. Tom Terrific, ooh, told me so. Uh-oh. I don't think I like this adventure anymore. Manfred? Manfred, do you know who that must be? All I want to know is, what are strangers doing on our moon? But Manfred, that's the man in the moon. Oh, come now. Not anymore, I'm not. I'm getting out of here. I never want to see the moon again. Pardon me, Mr. Man on the Moon. I'm Tom Terrific, all-around full-time adventure lover from the planet Earth. And this is my wonder dog, the mighty Manfred. Uh, how do you do? Won't you tell us why you're leaving? Dog! That's why I'm leaving. This used to be a peaceful, quiet neighborhood. But now, look out! It's all the fault of you people. Since you started sending up those satellites, I haven't had a moment's rest. How can I be expected to keep the moon running at peak efficiency with all these interruptions? So I'm quitting, retiring to some little planet out in the suburbs, away from all this hustle and bustle. Two points. But who will take care of the moon? You can if you really want to. It's easy. Why, even a child could do it. Uh, he's a child. Uh, this dial turns on the moonlight. It takes a little time to warm up. <laughs> This dial is for moon phases, and this one is vertical and horizontal control. This dial is for contrast, and this dial is for brightness. Good luck, old man. He's gone. What can we do now? Say, Tom, I'm hungry. How about some food? Some meteor? Meteor? That's it, Manfred. I'll become a meteor and go to one of the other planets and bring back a new man in the moon. But who mind the moon while you're gone? You will, oh noble wonder dog. Hey, but Tom, I'm not very mechanical. Back up. Hey, Tom, quit your fooling. Tom, I'm hungry. All alone. Maybe I'd feel better if I took a little nap. No! Oh, you cut it out. You cut it out, fellas. Oh. What are you trying to do? You're messing up the whole universe. You're back. Of course I'm back. I can't leave the moon in your hands. It would go to the dog. Uh, watch your language. Zook, 
I couldn't get outside the moon's gravity pull. Hey, you've come back, Mr. Man in the Moon. I had no choice. <laughs> I guess if you want a job well done, you have to do it yourself. Good work, Manfred. By deliberately pretending to get the moon out of control, you brought the man on the moon back where he belongs. Uh, did you bring back a sandwich? Well, you shouldn't feel sad, Mr. Man on the Moon. You're very important to us down on Earth. Hush, who cares about old me? We all do. You're so popular, people are always taking pictures of you. Why, that's me at quarter phase. And here I am, full. What a marvelous likeness. Somebody does care. Now I'll definitely stay on. And to show you how grateful I am, I'll send you back to Earth on a moonbeam. Terrific! <laughs> Before we go, where's all that green cheese I've been hearing about? It was all eaten up years ago. <laughs> I hate to start anywhere before lunch. We'll be back on Earth for lunch, mighty man Fred. Hey! Goodbye, Mr. Man in the Moon! No green cheese. Well, it's a nice place to visit, but I certainly wouldn't want to live there. Mighty Manfred, your blood will tingle when you hear what our next real great adventure will be. Oh, no! I think I'll stay home and watch you on the TV. Don't miss it, friends!